So, big thing, just to show, this is kind of the thesis statement, just, just swings for the fences. He's a right? powerhouse. This is back two, it, it has advantage, so if you're blocking, don't want to push any buttons probably. Push yeah, I was just there. jabbing. Don't do that, because you're going to get hit. Right. Um, great move there. Um, this is a really quick, kind of almost get a little distance to it too, like I can get you from there. Like really nice. Kind of can lead in some combos. Right. Uh, punishing move I like to use is the, is is this right here. Very fast, bounces them up. We can show some more stuff with that later. But obviously you can see there's some pathways with that move. I also really like how his kick attacks are just either uses Zax or he's just huge big boots. <laughs> just so like yeah, standard just... big boot. And like a lot of people, I enjoy the two-player animation strings. Right. Uh, so we have he has this overhead. Doesn't combo in anything, but hit the throw That's button afterwards. So good. And he also has a low one as well. And I'm sure we'll come back to those later as well. Right. Uh, now let's talk about his special moves. Uh, his special move, the one that kind of encapsulates what he is, is Power Strike. He will just throw the axe on the ground, and there it is. And you have about seven, eight seconds just to do stuff without the axe, right? You can also call it back. Okay. Now, when it's on the ground, different strings. That's back, back one. Nice. He also, and I get the axe back after, of course, doing the command grab. So all of his axe moves get replaced with different normal attacks. Yes. And some are faster. Some have different reactions. Right. Some, uh, and some change some of your other special moves. We'll get to that in a second. Even his throw changes. Yes. Even his throw. So here's his throw. While we're at it, let's just show the, you know, Mataro as well. And then with the axe, he just bangs in the face with the axe. Right. Other specials he has. So you can huge, well, that was the meter burn. I got a full screen projectile. Now if you're close, you can, sorry about that, you can do some, some of this. Pops up. Nice. Right. Um, he has a buff. This makes your axe damp uh, powers do more damage. You can okay. also meter EX that to get more time on it as well. Um, big move in his arsenal that also leads to a lot of crazy good damage is his also his uh, armored launcher is his knee. This kind of represent, uh, kind of makes me think of the MK3 like up shoulder, except now it's a knee. Right, and it you can you, you can throw that out a lot of places. Always there, but. If you uh, EX the knee, you get a free power slam after that. So you can do like that. Okay. And then his axe is on the ground again. Okay. So that's how you rotate throughout the character, right? And now it's on the ground, now it's back to me. So then you can start doing really cool stuff like this into, into power slam, back into that. Nice. And that's a pretty nice chunky combo. And now you have the axe back. Right. When the axe is on the ground, other cool things can happen. Power slam. Now, I have a ground pound. Neat. Now, here's the interesting thing. When you are on the axe, it is an overhead low. Okay. Which is kind of tough to block. Yeah. You can also, you know, throw this down, uh, do this. Combo and that's after. like a quick recall. Right. Yeah, so if you have it down, you also have a move where you can speed near it, and it's very fast. Slash. Okay. Um, so a lot of really cool stuff you can do. And he's so he's clearly meant to be going in and out during yes. the fight, in the middle of combos, getting it back at the end of combos. Maybe recalling it if you want to. Right. Lots of stuff like that. But if you are, as a as my opponent, near the axe, there's a lot of stuff you need to think about. Right. It, so it's almost like with the axe, you have, you know, kind of really good range, not the quickest moves. Without the axe, you're much quicker, and yes. you can use it, establish the axe on the screen, and they're going to have to respect it, and that's going to kind of open up your grabs, right. your mix-ups, stuff like that. And it, it's super cool. Um, you can also, like, he also, you know, has some, just picks stuff out of the air and that sort of thing. I mean, the, the, the knee into power, power, uh, power strike is huge. Right. Right. Really important. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. I do want to show some stuff with Motar. Okay. So Motaro has a couple things you can use. Now, obviously, I'm a big guy. Prop projectiles might scare me. Right. 
Well, I can do this. I can uh, pull him out, walk behind it. You don't want to be throwing projectiles. That. That's so and that good. That will reflect, and I'm I'm walking it down with that. I love that. You know, that's a way to call back to his thick, reflect skin from MK3. Right. And now you're kind of you're, now you're you're losing two. What do you do? Boom! You're, you're nice. He also has this this turret he can do. He'll shoot uh, three shots at you. Has a low one too. He can do that. Now here's something that I've chosen Matara with General Shao for a reason. Okay. Remember this move. Yes. Can't, can't do a lot out of it. Right. He has this teleport, right? Okay. Which maybe you can read a projectile. Maybe not. But you can move around the battlefield quicker as right. General Shao. But with this overhead, I can teleport and still and continue a, a combo. combo. It's a true combo. So now you have to worry about this, and you have to worry about uh, something like this. Like that's now in play. Right. So you and you can do the full, uh, the full thing too. You can do, like. What a cool example of one of my favorite things about the cameo system. It right. allows you to break the rules and restrictions of your roster. And character. I think that's why I love uh, Shao so much, is that he breaks the rules also with the knee into power slam. He's, right. It's a, it's a special into a special, which Johnny can do too. Of course, he breaks that rule at times with his uh, meter, with his height meter. But yeah, that, there's a lot of cool, fun, sort of breaking the meta of what Shao is just so you can do with that. And really I think cool. it's so neat about the cameo system. You kind of look at your play style, look at your character and think, what are my weaknesses? What are the things I think I'm missing? And you can use your cameo to turn those weaknesses into strengths. Right. And you know, for me, it's like, if I'm so far away from people just as a zoner, just even having even having this just to, to, to get me out of, out of dodge, right? Right. Now I'm close again. Now, you're, now close. you're Now you don't want to be there. Um, let's, do you want, let's show the... Uh, Oh, when you turn up, do yeah, the, give yourself a one percent. We'll do that real quick. Show the uh, fatal blow. It's a real good one. Drops it from the sky. Oh, he's not horsing around. 